everyone welcome back to my channel so i have a video that i promised forever ago and now it's march and i'm just now filming it but i have my year end empties video so technically this was all of the empties that i used up in 2017. i mean not technically it definitely is and just because it's like a quarter of the way through 2018 already doesn't mean we can't still film this this video is a rundown of every single product that I completely used up in 2017. I'm not going to go through like full reviews of every product. If you want to see a more detailed idea of what I thought of each thing, I will link my empties playlist down in the description below and then you can see mini reviews of every single product. This one is more of just like, a, okay, I use this and then this and then this and then this. And then I will tell you the total value of all the products that I used up last year. It's a lot. Like it's a lot higher than I expected because I only casually use things up like I try to use things up but like I'm not good at you know doing project pans I try to do them but I'm very slow and I'm not good at you know busting through things I only do my makeup like once or twice a week and so I don't you know go through products as fast as a lot of people do so I was very surprised at the number that I ended up with. Let's get into this because I have a feeling this video is gonna be super long anyways, so might as well start. I tried to organize everything into categories so it would be easier to go through. This is like two fifths. It's a little bit less than half. So this first one I believe is like bath. So I used up a Lush Mama bath bomb, Lush Easter egg bath bomb, Lush green bath bomb, I think it was an avocado one, Lush intergalactic bath bomb, another bath bomb, I'm not sure what it was, Lush butter ball, butter bomb, another one of those, I think an apple bath bomb from Lush, a Sailor Moon bath bomb, a Village Naturals Therapy Aches and Pains Muscle Relief, another one of those, Bomber Botanicals Diamonds and Cold Jasmine Vanilla bath bomb, and then I think that was it for bath bombs. And then I have makeup remover. So this is the Sephora Ex Express Cleansing and Exfoliating Wipes. Inner Skin Soothing Cleansing Water. Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. A sample of the Maybelline Flash Clean Express Makeup Removing Lotion. Some Beauty Rounds. This is a 75 pack. Cala Aloe Vera Makeup Cleansing Towelettes. A sample of the Nukes face cleansing and makeup removing gel. 25 pack of the simple cleansing facial wipes. Marcel 3-in-1 micellar water. Two samples of the simple micellar water. A sample of the Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover. Three Sephora express eye makeup remover wipes. And a Estee Edit dissolve the drama 2-in-1 makeup remover and cleanser. Okay, next category. In the bag for the cotton balls that I used up from White Cloud, it's a 200 pound, that was another product, are all my hand soaps. I think they're all from Bath and Body Works. They're all gentle foaming hand soaps because those are the ones I like. Vanilla Bean Noel, Frosted Coconut Snowball, Bermuda Plumeria Sunrise, Maui Mango Mai Tai, Gingerbread Latte, Beach House, and Vanilla Coconut. I used up <laughs> five of the COSRX Acne Pimple Master Patches. These are amazing, just have to say that. And then lotions, I have a sample of the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer with Minoy Oil, Nivea In Shower Body Lotion for very dry skin, Curel Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer, Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer, Foil Pack of the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer with coconut oil. Albertini International Divine Skin Hydrator. It's another in-shower body moisturizer. Two of the Nivea cocoa butter ones. And then a Eucerin in-shower moisturizer. And then the rest are just regular lotions. Lush Celebrate Hand and Body Lotion. Bodycology Toasted Vanilla Sugar Body Cream. Mayfair Sea Lily Jasmine Body Cream. Air Repair complexion boosting moisturizer with hyaluronic acid. Oh, I guess that's a moisturizer. And this is a sort of moisturizer. It's a clindamycin phosphate lotion. So it's a prescription cream for 
like acne prone skin. Okay, body wash. An up and up skin clearing body wash. It's the pink grapefruit salicylic acid. Sample of the soapbox sea minerals body wash. Dove deep moisture body wash. Olay ultra moisture with shea butter. Dove dry oil moisture nourishing body wash. Curel itch defense body wash. And then the last one isn't a body wash, it's a body polish from Ayers in Pompous Sunrise. That's what it looks like. I think these are face products. Peter Lamas Exfoliating Pumpkin Facial Scrub. Origins Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. Good All Phyto Wash Yerba Mate Bubble Peeling. H&M Coconut Water Face Mask. Bliss Micro Magic Microdermabrasion Scrub. All-time favorite microdermabrasion scrub. Real Chemistry Luminous 3-Minute Peel Sample. Eslore Chlorophyll Lifting Mask. Shea Moisture, Raw Shea Butter, Anti-Aging Facial Mask. Nux 24-Hour Soothing and Rehydrating Fresh Mask. Skinny Pure Revival Peel Sample and Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Bam, made it through the first box. Let's see if I can successfully put this on my lap. Okay, so let's start with shampoo and conditioner. John Frieda Luxurious Volume color care conditioner. VO5 Moisture Milks Strawberries and Cream Moisture Icing Conditioner. L'Oreal Color Vibrancy Intensive Conditioner. I guess we're just going through all the conditioners first apparently. Tresemme um, Beautiful Volume Reverse System. It's where you do the conditioner first and then the shampoo. Pre-wash conditioner. Herbal Essences None of Your Frizzness Shampoo. Neutrogena Anti-Residue Formula Shampoo. And the rest are sample sizes. John Frieda Frizzies Conditioner. Soapbox Coconut Shampoo and Conditioner. Garnier Whole Blends uh, Honey Treasures Shampoo and Conditioner. Dove Advanced Hair Series Regenerative Nourishment Shampoo and Conditioner. Shroff's Cough Gliss Hair Repair Ultra Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. Two of the Earth Tempo Body Care Balancing Conditioner. Shroff's Kopf Essence Ultimate Diamond Color and Radiance Shampoo and Omega Repair and Moisture Shampoo. Fakai Olive Oil Brilliant Glossing Shampoo. Neutrogena Clean Shampoo. Shroff's Kopf, I keep, I can't pronounce that anymore. Blonde Me Tone Enhancing shampoo and bonding mask attitude i think it's the brand shampoo and a shampoo and body wash and three foil packets of the number four volumizing conditioner and hydrating shampoo and then the next category i want to say this is other this looks like other this is a venus violet shaving gel the wrapper is gone band-aids <laughs> those are frozen ones a venus razor this might have came with the shave gel. A Dove Dry Spray Cool Essentials Deodorant. An Absolute New York Nail Polish Remover in Lavender. Liquid Blender Cleanser Sample. A Vitafusion Prenatal Vitamin. Gummy ones. And Women's Vitamins. Real Techniques Blending Sponge. A Kula Bear Republic Natural Mineral Face Sunscreen. And a Vanilla Tootsie Roll Chapstick. Face wash. Benzoyl peroxide 5% wash. Cetaphil oil control foam wash for acne prone skin. Vizanti brighten up enzymatic face rejuvenator. Okay, is it Bior or Biore? I feel like I've heard it both ways, but I'm not sure. Baking soda pore cleanser. Good all Phyto wash Yerba Mate cleansing foam. H2O plus marine cleansing gel. And first aid beauty pure skin face cleanser. Face masks. This I got in a pop sugar box. I didn't just pay like a billion dollars for this. It's a Passport to Beauty Gold Radiance Luxury Facial Mask with Collagen and Rosa Demenska <laughs> Flower Oil. It's two gold hydrogel masks. It's like 60 bucks. I'm not getting into that. This is an SNP Dragon face mask. She mask. Same brand Lion face mask. I think it's a koala. Panda, a spa life hydrating facial mask in cucumber and aloe. Biobel hashtag primer face mask. Tony Moly Vitality I'm Real face mask. The broccoli one. Sephora avocado eye mask. Sephora shea lip mask. Sephora lavender foot mask. Picake facial mask. 
This is sort of a mask. It's a Coco Star Foot Therapy Paraben Free Foot Exfoliant Wrap. So it's one of the ones that like take off dead skin. A Honey Jelly Lips Patch from Etude House. And then I think it's hair products, including some hair masks. Botanical Choice Vital Radiance Hair Mask in Honey. Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Mark Anthony Hydrating Coconut Oil and Shea Butter uh, Conditioning Treatment. Gorge I'll Make You Look Amazing Daily Spray. Sample of the Don't Despair Repair. Way Hair Care Treatment Mask. Lador Sleeping Clinic Ampoule. PYT Argan Oil uh, Treatment. Christoph Robin Regenerating Mask. Uh, this was for your hair. Matrix Total Results Miracle Treat Lotion Spray. And then Oblifica Professionals Seaberry Hair Serum. And then I have three toothpaste. And I thought I used up more, but maybe I just forgot to put them in here. I have a Colgate Optic White Sample, a Full Size Crest 3D White, and a Hello Pure Mint toothpaste. I also accidentally tossed a few things before I put them in this bin but I wrote them down because I looked back at my empties video. So I have a Lush Over and Over Bath Bomb, a Tresemme Beautiful Volume Shampoo, a Dr. Morita Q10 Eye Masks, so it's an eight pack, Spa Life Hydrating Facial Masks times three, Sephora Shea Lip Mask, Pink Detox Bath Salts, Splat Colorizer Purple Hair Dye, Avene Soothing Moisture Mask Sample, Christoph Robin Purifying Salt Scrub Shampoo, also a sample, Nourish Organic Moisturizing Cream Cleanser Sample, Bio Oil Sample, Glam Glow, Thirsty Cleanse Sample, Balance Me Extra Care Wonder Eye Cream Sample, Dr. Dart Micellar Water Derma Clear Sample. And then we're almost at the end. Dry shampoo is probably like my biggest category because I go through a lot of it. Um, big size of the Batiste Coconut and Exotic Tropical Dry Shampoo. And then big size of the Floral and Flirty Blush dry shampoo, two of the regular size of the blush scent, one of the fruity and cheeky cherry scent, one of the Ella Henderson sweet and seductive scent. And then a few sample sizes, Moroccan oil dry shampoo, detox dry shampoo, this one's really good, living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo, two of the chlorine, I think it's the oat milk dry shampoo, even smaller size of the detox dry shampoo, and a Clairol hair food uh, dry shampoo infused with kiwi fragrance and a Tresemme Fresh Start uh, volumizing dry shampoo. <laughs> so, yeah. Say goodnight. I love you, Munchkin. Mwah. <laughs> I love you so much. Have a good night's sleep, okay? Can you do that for me? I love you. Scented products. Perfumes. I have a full size of the Bath & Body Works Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Body Splash. And then a bunch of the sample sizes. Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. Vera Wang Embrace. Another Vera Wang Embrace. I think one was the pink, one was the orange. And then I think this is the blue Vera Wang Embrace. Juicy Couture Malibu and Replica Beach Walk. Candles. I have a Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Spiced Cheesecake 3 Wick. Bath & Body Works Rhubarb Marmalade 3 Wick. Oh, I have more products in here. Come back to these. Target Dollar Spot Sprinkled Cupcake Candle. Floral Aroma Oil. Not a candle, but it's a scent. Mainstays Apple Pumpkin Wax Cubes. Bath & Body Works Cucumber Melon Concentrated Room Spray. I don't know if they sell this anymore, but if they do, it's definitely not in this packaging because this is like eight years old. A single wick Bath & Body Works Tis the Season candle. Hmm. Sniff break. Sugar Rush Lemon Trifle two wick candle and a, another Bath & Body Works three wick sweet cinnamon pumpkin candle. And then since I'm showing you this, these are all the mascaras I used up. That's unnecessary, right? Like. <laughs> like super extra. Two of the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. Um, one is waterproof, one is not. Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara. Revlon Volume and Length Magnified Mascara. Rimmel Scandalize Reloaded. Two of the Revlon Bold Lacquer Mascara. Again, one waterproof, one not. Doucet Punk Volumizer Mascara. Elf Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. NYC Sky Rise. Rimmel Lash Accelerator 
Endless, and then the rest are samples. Well People Expressionist Mascara, Elizabeth Arden Grand Entrance, Lancome Excessive Black, two of the Glam Naturals Mascara, I don't know if it has another name. Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, Benefit Roller Lash, Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, Too Faced Better Than Sex, and Sephora Lash Craft. I think these are face creams, L'Occitane Precious Cream Sample, uh, two L'Occitane Amande uh, Milk Concentrate Samples, and a Vivo Diamond Collection White Diamond Moisture Complex Sample. This is a random body wash. Um, I opened the clothes. It was one from a nerdy subscription box. And then eye products, Lancome Paris Absolute Eye Premium RX Battery Dyed, which makes sense because there's a lot of stuff. Hopefully everything still looks okay. Nukes Lifting Eye Cream, a full size of the Skin Iceland Pen Eye Cream. I can't remember what it's called, all the words are rubbed off, but the tip looks like that. A Mizan Multifunctional Formula Snail Repair Eye Cream, has snail and slime in it. 100% Pure Coffee Bean Caffeine Eye Cream, Lancome Visionaire Ion Correction Balm and Clinique All About Eyes De Puffing Serum. Finally, the very last category to talk about is other makeup that's not mascara, because I don't go through a lot of makeup that's not mascara. I have a full size of the Max Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NW10, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles in Fair, which they now have a lighter shade and I'm gonna check that out. And then a Becca Backlight Priming Filter, I think this is a sample. A sample of the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and a CoverGirl Pencil Eyeliner of some sort that's so short that I can't read it anymore. And that, folks, is everything. Now, to tell you the full value of it all. So to calculate it, and I went through every single item, including all the little tiny foil pack samples. I took the full retail value. So if it was on sale, I didn't count that. If I got it in a like a subscription box where I, you know, paid 20 bucks, but the total value of the box was $150, I just calculated the retail value of the item. If I had a coupon, I didn't include the coupons. And then for like travel and sample sizes, if the product had an actual sample size that was sold, so like a um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, they sell travel sizes for like 12 bucks, whereas the full size is like $20. I took the travel size price, and then if it didn't have one of those sold by themselves, and it was just like half the amount that was in a full size, I took half of the price of the full size. So if it was like a lotion that was half an ounce instead of one ounce, and the full size was 20 bucks, the one I counted was worth $10. This is as close as I could get. To the best of my knowledge, I went through every single thing meticulously, and then when I was adding it up, I added it up like multiple times to make sure I got the same answer. And the total value of all of the products that I used up in 2017 was $1,497.25. Just let that sink in. It's 275 short of $1,500. I used up almost $1,500 worth of stuff. I have no idea how that's possible. At the end of 2018, I will be doing another one of these videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I already have a full container of more things to do in empties on, and I've already done a couple empties videos this year already, so pretty stoked about that. That is it today. Like I said, if you want to watch any of my empties videos for further reviews of products, I will link the playlist down in the description below. All of my hair, makeup, clothes, whatever will be linked down there as well in case you're interested. I hope you enjoyed and until next time I'll see you all soon. Bye!